Today we're gonna check out how you can export your bubble letters from Illustrator and how you can import into Adobe Dimensions and play around with the materials and lights and push it to the next level. Okay, so let's start in Illustrator, select your text, go to 3D materials, click on inflate, decrease the depth all the way to zero. Make sure to go here and check inflate both sides. So this way, both sides are inflated. Let's go to asset export, drag and drop the design in here. If you don't have it, you can go to windows and select asset export. And all you need to do is change the PNG to object, or you can go to GLTF. With GLTF, you can import it into After Effects and animate it, of course, in the latest After Effects. But I gotta go with object, click on export, select location. Let's go into Adobe Dimension, click on open. Let's go to the object, select the asset three, and it should load in. And I'm gonna drag it upwards, something like this. Let's go and select the orbit and rotate it. And here we can do a couple of things. If you click on the background, here we can change up the background if you want, but I'm gonna leave it on a light gray. And I'm gonna go here and scroll down until I'm gonna bump into the materials. And I'm gonna drag and drop the rainbow in here at the asset three. And this is going to update every each letter with this material. If I would drag and drop the material on the letters, it is going to do it one by one. But at least this way you can dress it up with different kind of materials and have fun with it. Okay, so in order to see this more realistically, you can go in the upper right corner and click on the ray tracing activated. And this is going to render it live. So you can see how the end result is going to look. Let's go down, scroll more until we're gonna bump into the environment lights and you can select some of these. Let me see this one. And you can go to the right, increase or decrease the intensity if you like. Or you got the rotation, you can move the light sources on the text. And if you scroll down even more, you can find background images, which you can change up with. And this is going to add also the reflections on them. The main point of these images is to have a different kind of reflection into the letters. Okay, so before rendering this, I'm gonna increase the size. Make sure to select the selection tool here and click on the size number at the corner. This way you can go to the canvas size and increase the numbers, 2,500 by 1,500-ish. And from here, let's go to the render here. You can go and rename it. Let's go to the quality, change it up to high, slow. And here you can go with PSD or PNG. I gotta go with PNG this time. And you can change the location where to save it. Click on render. And after you rendered it, you got the image. And this was it. Thanks for watching.